Horizon Zero Dawn was one of the highest selling and rated games of 2017. Developed by Guerrilla Games, published by Sony, and a PlayStation 4 exclusive, Horizon Zero Dawn found resounding critical acclaim and continued sales growth even after its main release. The game sold 2.6 million units in its first two weeks after launch and climbed to well over 4 million units sold by the end of January of 2018. That's an enormous effort for a brand new game franchise. In fact, it is the second highest selling PlayStation 4 exclusive, only behind Naughty Dog's Uncharted 4. So why was this seemingly bizarre looking role playing game about robot dinosaurs so special? Well, it's a combination of many things, and that is what I want to talk about in this video today. Why Horizon Zero Dawn is such a special game. Horizon Zero Dawn is undeniably original, dares to be different, and had impeccable timing with its release. Only a year following the release of another open world action RPG, the immensely popular Witcher 3. Now I do understand the people that take issue with the comparisons to The Witcher 3 to Horizon Zero Dawn as Horizon Zero Dawn does totally manage to create its own unique identity within the genre. However, this comparison to me is a compliment to Horizon's ability to deliver an action RPG experience that the modern gamer is looking for. To be lost in a world with seemingly endless possibilities, while at the same time getting totally entranced in the deep narrative the game has to offer. At first, I was skeptical. Seeing this young woman running around fields fighting massive robot dinosaurs with a bow and arrow? Like, come on. But the game quickly took me on an emotional roller coaster in every way a game can possibly do so. Horizons Are Adorned to me is something the gaming world has not seen before. A post-apocalyptic world that combines elements of future and prehistoric technologies and weaves them together in such a way that, at the very least as a player, you want to understand how this can possibly make sense, so you play further, and quickly Gorilla builds this world around you that you not only accept it, but you believe it to be true. A world with complex socio-economic politics that span internally and externally to each social group, tribe and peoples of the world, which itself is only there to simply work as a background to the game's narrative. This world is all about curiosity and discovery both as a narrative and as the players explore the map, as there is clearly so much deep underlying history to this world. This sense of discovery and mystery is massively important in Horizon Zero Dawn's narrative, something I'd argue is not seen enough of anymore within video games. We are so used to rehash stories from 5th or 12th installments into stale and unoriginal franchises trying and failing to reinvent the wheel. So when a game can be original without trying to be something else, it gives the player something new, and it's a recipe for success. Horizon Zero Dawn's story takes the players through the landscape of an existing human world that is both prehistoric and futuristic. While the story's protagonist Aloy, an outcast to her Nora tribe, is trying to find her place in this world, just as the player is. It is a story that knows exactly what it is, it knows exactly what the players want from it. Its premise provides intrigue, and its story plays off of that brilliantly, answering one question with two more, only answering enough to satisfy the player without showing all of its hand in the first installment. It is a game that if there is a sequel to follow it, it makes sense as a story, it very purposefully leaves the players wanting more. Aloy herself is one of, if not the biggest part, of what makes Horizon Zero Dawn so special. Plenty of games protagonists take up the role as the player narratively, but none better to me in recent memory than Aloy. She, like the player, has very little understanding of who she is within this world. She is an outsider. As we learn, she learns. What makes Aloy so special in my mind though, is she just gets people. Which is not a normally major talking point for heroes in video games, but means everything to Horizon Zero Dawn as a story. She is a master at navigating the people of the world. Whether it's her own tribe that she is an outcast to, or a completely foreign peoples, Aloy is always able to adapt to her surroundings and relate to the people that she is talking to. 
It is what builds the relationships with many characters you meet in this world. It is her openness to new things that gives her this important attribute. That same openness is also a major point to moving the story forward. The fact that Aloy is willing to learn and understand new ideas that are being presented to her throughout the story keeps her close to the player navigating this game. I had so many moments where I found myself responding to what the other characters were saying, and then Aloy would say the exact same thing at the same time in response. It is rare that I feel so in tune with a character as I do with Aloy. To describe heroes in most games today, you'd say terms like charismatic, powerful, strong, or anti-hero or something. But to describe Aloy, I'd simply say she's a good person. That's what makes her and this game so special. Horizon Zero Dawn is special for many reasons, as I've stated. It's important on a genre that is quickly becoming the most popular amongst the current gaming landscape of multiplayer games where so many gamers are looking for riveting solo experiences still. The unique and believable world it builds from a seemingly unbelievable premise. And of course its protagonist Aloy, whose journey runs parallel with the player through the game's marvellous story. Horizon has not only impacted Sony financially, both short term and long term, but has also made such an impact that Xbox has had no choice but to respond. With recruiters from Microsoft on LinkedIn advertising for a AAA next-gen title with quote, style similar to Horizon Zero Dawn, end quote. Horizon Zero Dawn is special not only for its impact in and of itself as a game, not only for its impact as arguably the future franchise face of PlayStation, but also how it is creating competition for Xbox, making them want to deliver an experience to their players like this. It's truly something to marvel at as a gamer today. On a personal level, I can't really put this feeling into words, but there are some games that just give you that feeling that you're experiencing something special, something you are going to remember for years, something important. I've been lucky to have had a dozen or so of those experiences in my gaming life, and I know it when I feel it. Horizon Zero Dawn was one of them.